Has it tucked in, but I see the ball underneath him on the ground. That should be an incompletion. I don't think that's going to be very difficult for Tom Robinson, our replay official. Ball through his body. See, this is on the ground, and then Davis is over the top of it with his body. No question about it. This should be pretty quick. Davis, a very capable receiver. Review, the ruling is confirmed as an incomplete pass. Third down. So Mike Davis, very capable receiver against UCLA. He had three catches for 77 yards. Coach Brown having a chance to talk to him on our conference call this week. What a relaxed, positive head coach of a superpower. They've been beat down enough in the offseason. He wants to build them back up. Huge third down, Gus. Third down and 11 from the 18. They need to go to the 7 for first down. McCoy in trouble. And incomplete. McCoy with a lot of pressure on him. DJ Grant, the intended receiver, but the Cyclones blitzing on third down and long. And the pressure made Case McCoy get rid of the ball a count early. DJ Grant didn't even have his head around. He had to get rid of it because AJ Klein, number 47, was in his face and putting the hit on. So when he got rid of it, he did it with anticipation, hoping Grant would pick up the flight of the football. They were unable to connect. So Justin Tucker already good from 33. This one from 35. And it's good. And so far, Texas taking advantage of mistakes and playing a flawless first quarter. But they still feel like they left points out there. If you're Iowa State right now, another turnover deep in your territory, you forced another field goal. Now you're saying, offense, you've got to help us out. Defense is fighting and giving you an opportunity. The offense of Iowa State needs a big drive, and they've got to help out their defense and get them a little bit of rest. Don't forget next week, our game, Texas A&M, Texas Tech. Last couple of weeks, A&M struggling. We will see them in Lubbock. They blew big leads in both games. 20 to three against Oklahoma State. Started the second half here up 35-17 against Arkansas in Dallas in Cowboys Stadium. Lost both games. They've got to find a way to get off the mat next week. Texas Tech and Tommy Tuberville come in undefeated. Josh Lenz, Chantrell Johnson back for Iowa State. This time it will be Johnson inside his own five. And Johnson trying to get outside and go for the 30. Cuts it back inside, goes forward. Late flag coming on the play. Chantrell Johnson with a 33-yard return. I think one of the biggest Achilles heels of Texas the Achilles heel they've shown early has been kickoff coverage. UCLA gashed them in that area, too. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 82 of the receiving team. The penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Reed Branderhorst, back up tight end, called for the illegal block. Now Paul Rhodes has got to figure out a way to keep his team positive. Mistake after mistake. Six turnovers in the first half, excuse me, in the first quarter in the last two weeks for Iowa State. Our first and ten line is brought to you by Russell Athletic. Jans throwing on the run. Sideline. Nice catch. Jarvis West gets down the sideline and picks up a first down. West, a freshman from St. Petersburg, Florida. Iowa State having no problems moving the ball through the air and on the ground, but they continue to shoot themselves in the foot with three turnovers in the first quarter. First down at the 36. Chance running. Nice move, and he dives and crosses the 45 up to the 46, close to a first down. Stage right, early game jitters. I don't know what you call it, but Iowa State 
Although they've turned it over a bunch in the last couple of games, they've always managed to come back and win. First down. Jantz rolling. Stops. Looking for a block. Gets it. And it'll be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Alex Okafor, who we talked about during our pregame introductions, makes the tackle. And they need him in number wearing number 80 and number 44, Jackson Jeffcoat, to provide great pressure and not let Steel Jantz break contain outside the pocket and get to the corner. On that play, Okafor stayed home. He came back to him, and he put him down. Second down and 11 at the 45. Jantz over the middle. And it's caught by his big tight end, Kurt Hammerschmidt, with his third catch of the season. And that will bring up third down and short. Okafor and Keenan Robinson combining on the tackle. Cyclones need a yard. Is this four down territory, Charles? I think it depends on this call here, Gus, about what they gain in terms of yardage. If they get a negative play, no. But if they get a positive and they have to go for it, it's a possibility. Jeff Woody comes into the game. He's a deep man. Chance on a play action. Firing up top. Incomplete, but a flag on the play. And it came from the secondary, so if you're Iowa State, you're hopeful that there's a hold or something in the secondary by Texas, which would give them a first down. Now that's what you're going to get. Before the pass was thrown, holding number 18 of the defense. The penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot. First down. It's Emmanuel Acho. So there's Acho, 18. He's going to come over here and take on the tight end. He's supposed to hold him up. Instead, the official detecting grab. See that? Got his hand on the jersey. Nice call by the officials. So first down at the Texas 35 for Iowa State. James White checks in for the Cyclones in the backfield. Chance underneath West. And he'll gain two and a half. Jordan Hicks brings him down. How would you describe this Iowa State offense, Charles? I would describe it as varied and frenzied at times. At times, they want to go fast, they want to go super fast, but they want Steel Jantz to make all the decisions, whether it's in the run game or the throw game. They've got to find a way to keep the ball in the hands of playmakers. West number one, Lenz number 19, and Darius Reynolds number seven. Second down and eight at the 33. Twins at the top of your screen. Jans looks that way, now changes, wants to run it with the lane, throws on the run, caught by Branderhorst, he dives forward. Kenny Vaccaro trips him up, but he's close to a first down. A seven-yard pickup on second and eight. And the Cyclones quick to the line of scrimmage. Jans wants to run it. Cuts inside and picks up the first down as Alex Okafor stops him. And that may take us to the end of the first quarter. First down, so they'll reset the chains. Clock stopped, and then the, the clock will start again when the chains are set. But a nice move by Steel Jantz, understanding where the first down marker was. One move, and then was definite about getting upfield to pick it up. So despite turning it over three times in the first quarter, Iowa State down only 13 to nothing, getting close to the red zone. We'll return to Ames right after this. Welcome back to Ames, Iowa. Start of the second quarter, Texas with a 13 to nothing lead. Gus Johnson along with Charles Davis and CD. If you're Texas, you like the way, how efficient rather they've been early on in this game. And just think they could have been even more efficient. 13 plays run in the red zone so far. Held on downs once, two field goals, only one touchdown. This game could be out of, out of range for Iowa State. So you have to love the resolve the resilience, the grittiness of this Iowa State team, and now they're trying to pay off their defense by finishing a drive on offense. So first down for Steele Jantz and the Cyclones. 
Chance rolling out of the pocket, throws on the run. Incomplete. That ball intended for Jarvis West. Adrian Phillips covering for UT. Crowd really wants to be in this game. Phillips is tracking him. Everyone's screaming that there should be interference, that it's, that it's face guarding. That call doesn't exist. As long as he's not touching the receiver before the ball gets there, he can play him how he wants. Second down and 10 of the 25. Here's the option. Johnson. And Johnson gets close to a first down. Kenny Vaccaro tackles him. He's about two yards short. Brings up third down two at the Texas 17. I like the job that Steel Jans did reading defense. Saw pressure, man coverage, went to the option and put them in a position of third and manageable on third down. Trips at the bottom. Chance. He'll run for the first down and get it. Steel Jantz. Gus, this is just old-fashioned single-wing football. Everyone lead to the right. Look at Hayworth Hicks, number 75, pulling out of the line to get the quarterback, who had been a tailback in the old days, to the corner. Jantz out of City College of San Francisco. Starting at quarterback for this squad, they found the diamond. And they are really riding this kid as Johnson picks up positive yardage, he gains eight. Jackson Jeffcoat with the tackle. And you know what the Iowa State bench is saying? You know what the coach is saying? See, guys, it's all been us. If we take care of the football, we're moving it. We can play with this team. And their defense is getting a chance to rest. 12 play of the drive. Jans running outside. Cuts it back in. Stumbles and goes down at the line of scrimmage. Jackson Jeffcoat right there. But how about this kid? When we talked to the Iowa State coaches yesterday, they feel like He's going to learn something every time he snaps the ball, but he's not even close to scratching his potential. Coach Brew talked about he was an inexperienced quarterback. Remember, he wasn't even a starter in high school. This is only the first this is the first time he's had back-to-back -back years of being a starting quarterback. One year of junior college, three games, and now tonight on this level. Third down and four at the six. And some movement on the offensive line of Iowa State. Looks like the left side. I like your eyes, boss. Prior to the snap, false start. Number 72 of the offense. Five-yard penalty remains third down. Kalechi Osimile, who they feel has the potential to be a first-round draft pick at left tackle. Easily their best offensive lineman. How about a wingspan of 84 inches? That's a seven-foot tall player. Wingspan. Six. Nice feet and nasty. It wants to finish people in blocks. From Houston, third down and nine. At the 11. In the end zone, incomplete. Intended for Darks. And Iowa State will have to settle for a field goal attempt. Not happy about not getting six, obviously. But they'll take the three-point attempt because of what you said, Gus, just a couple of plays ago. They've gotten their defense some rest. They've rewarded them for hanging in there and being warriors throughout the frenetic first quarter. So Zach Geyer. Then will attempt a 29-yard field goal. And he pushed it wide right. Wow. Cyclones come up empty. 12-20 to play. Second quarter, 13-zip. UT. Welcome back. 13 to nothing. Zach Geyer missing a 29-yard field goal. And it's enough to make your head coach want to pull his hair out. <laughs> He's 44 and just went to 74 right there on that missed field goal. He's thinking, how long can my guys hang? But what he needs from his defense now, they have to create a turnover, help themselves out with field position. David Ash, a quarterback, they hand it off to 